America's health care system for the first time in five decades wasn't a big enough task. Lawmakers are facing a looming deadline now. President Obama's budget director told Fox News today uh, the White House still wants the bill passed by early August. But there seems to be some growing concern from both sides of the aisle that it all may be going too fast, way too fast. The nail was hit on the head by Mr. Elmendorf, who's head of CBO, and who is, by the way, appointed by the Democratic leadership of the House and the Senate. And he said that this bill, as proposed, or the bills as proposed, would significantly aggravate the health care cost situation, uh, that the cost of health care would go up significantly, and that it would ri raise significantly the burden on the federal government as to what it had to pay. So do lawmakers in Washington need to chill out? Joining us to give us both sides of the issue are Democratic Congressman Joe Sestak of Pennsylvania and Republican Congressman Dan Burton of Indiana. Welcome to both of you today, gentlemen. You know, this is a really Thanks, big Kelly. problem. Uh, we're looking at the economy and, of course, the president echoing that uh, if health care goes on its in, in its continuing form, it will derail the economy. But then you have the CBO uh, gentleman coming out with the news that the current plan that they're proposed in terms of legislation, but only further derail the economy. Congressman Burton, what do you say about this? Well, it's not just CBO. The president's chief economic advisor said if we raise business taxes like this plan would provide for, we'd lose as many as 4.7 million jobs in America uh, because they're raising those business taxes. In addition to that, the total tax increase over a decade would be about $800 billion in new taxes, and it's going to affect the Medicare advantage for seniors and ultimately will cause uh, rationing of health care. Congressman Sestak. You know, it's interesting. CBO just came out with a new study on Friday that actually said that the proposal in the House is deficit budget neutral. In fact, if you notice what that gentleman said from CBO was it, our bill does not slow down very much the growth of health care. And that's true for this first year. But look, doing nothing is not an option. We've done that, let's say, over the last eight years. As here in Pennsylvania, health premiums has gone up 85 percent and 7 million Americans have lost their health insurance. So what this budget does in a budget neutral approach mm -hmm. is it says bring in the uninsured because if they are covered, the insured will be paying less. We pay per family right now $1,100 if you're insured for the uninsured because okay. the cost is passed on to us. Second, what it says is a public health care plan option begins the competition that we only have 70% of all health care plans in Pennsylvania and two companies. We need to get the competition to lower cost. This is a very good plan. Well, l let me tell you what the public uh, or we're getting. Uh, this is from Facebook. Uh, Bobby Bush writes in to me and he says, listen, Kelly, the fix needs to happen within the system, not reinventing the wheel. Now, we have the Republicans right. offering their plan. We have the Democrats offering their plan. So how do you accomplish what Bobby, uh, the average American, wants to accomplish? And that is re not reinventing the wheel, but dealing with the system that we have and making it work for everybody. Congressman Burke. Yeah, I think that's, some, well, what I think that's something that can Absolutely. be done. And we have uh, made some suggestions that we think would really improve the health care system. But if you look at a map or a, a plan of the Democrats program, it looks like a, a spaghetti bowl. You can't follow what you have to go through from one point to another point to get health care. And uh, in addition to that, you know, we haven't seen that plan. That plan's going to have a total of about 1,100 pages, and nobody in Congress, Congress has yet read it. And we're supposed to uh, vote on this within two weeks. And I think the president wants us to vote on it before we go home because they know there's such growing opposition among the people of this country. Uh, General, let me get this in real quickly because we're running out of time. Congressman Sestak, what's the problem going back to the table? Uh, going back to the drawing board, why does it have to be done before the, uh, the summer recess? Well, as you know, over the last eight years, it's not what it looks like. It's what are the results. Um, when Congress was controlled by the Republicans, as you know, we lost 7 million Americans uninsured. They didn't take any action. Look, doing, if we don't act quickly here, you're then into next year's political uh, elections and mm -hmm. people tend not to be as courageous and that's a shame however this does permit every American it doesn't reinvent anything what it says is stay in your health care plan with your doctor if you want to all it does is says you know those 47 million Americans that you and your family pay eleven hundred dollars more for on your private health care plans because they go in an emergency room and you pay for it anyway it says bring them in 
Let okay. them choose one of the plans. We subsidize the less poor because you pay for it anyway. It's just being honest, accountable government Congressman Burton, that for the last eight years hasn't been done. And Congressman Burton, I see you itching to, to get one word in. But I'm, I'm well, I'd just like to say... In I'd just like to say in closing, Kelly, that if you think government's done such a good job of running everything in our country, just think of what it's going to be like if, they, if we have the federal government running health care. It's going to cost more, it's going to be less efficient, and it's going to end up rationing health care, socialized medicine. Well, you know what, gentlemen, I hope uh, that both sides of the aisle can come together and get something together, because obviously you both agree that something has to be done. The president agrees that something has to be done, and he's vowing to get it done. Uh, the American public is saying, get it done, but... How about a plan that makes it look like what you guys are getting there on Capitol Hill? <laughs> we thank you very much, Congressman Dan Burton and Congressman well, Joseph. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Have a great Dan. Afternoon. Good